about Henri Matisse. Henri Matisse was born in 1869 in a small town in France. His parents owned a general store and wanted Henri to take over the family business, but Henri decided to become a lawyer instead. At 20, he got very sick and had to be admitted to the hospital. Henri's mother bought him a box of paints. Henri painted almost every day while in the hospital, and from that day on, Henri decided to be an artist. Matisse was called the king of color. He recognized that color played a big part in how we perceive life and how we feel. Later in life, Matisse developed cancer and was bedridden. He still created art in his bed by using a bamboo stick tipped with chalk. He drew on the ceiling. He started cutting out shapes with scissors and called this art form drawing with scissors. Hey students, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Today we're going to do organic shape collages. And remember I've talked to you in the um, last lesson kind of the difference between organic shapes and geometric shapes. So geometric shapes are the shapes, shapes that all of us know about. The circles and the triangles and rectangles, all of those that we have um, been taught about in school. But organic shapes let me show you some of those. Organic shapes are just fun, whimsical shapes. And these are some of the ones that Matisse uses in his paintings and in his cutouts. This is a bunch on one page. So today what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some of these shapes. We're going to trace them onto some colored paper and then you guys are going to pick whatever colors that you want and whatever shapes and placements that you want um, to put it onto your paper. So we're going to get started and I want this to really be led by you what kinds of shapes that you like and um, whatever colors you like that um, that you'd like to do. So here we go. Okay guys, so let's get our materials together. For this project, we will need crayons. We'll need a glue stick. You'll need a Sharpie or a black marker of some type. A pencil. You'll need a pair of scissors. Hopefully they won't be as big as these. <laughs> They're all I could find right now. You'll need those printouts that I attached to this lesson. So guys, when you're using these different sheets, you can use whichever ones you want, and you also don't have to use any at all. Maybe you want to just use the big ones, like this. Maybe you want to do a more intricate design with some of these smaller ones. And maybe you want to just make up all of your own shapes. That's completely up to you. You guys do what you like best. Also, you'll need some colored paper and make sure if you have scraps, like I have these from um, other projects, please feel free to use these because using up our scrap pieces of paper is a great way to not put that um, stuff to waste. Like I have some of these kind of scraps that I'm gonna be using too. So then you'll also want to pick a background. I suggest picking maybe a white or a black construction paper background, but it's completely up to you. Again, I really want to see what you guys come up with with your um, patterns and your colors. So pick whatever you like the best. So the first thing you'll want to do with whichever different um, template that you want to use, you'll want to cut out the pieces that you want to trace. So I'm going to start with this and I'm going to cut out um, these templates. Now guys, I wanted to tell you a tip about cutting. With these organic shapes, it's a little bit harder to cut. So if you keep your scissors in one place and you just use your other hand, see how I'm using my other hand to move that paper 
and my scissors stay in one place and I'm just moving the paper with that other hand, that really helps with cutting. So once I have these all cut out, I'm going to pick the different colors that I want to use. So I think I'll start with this red and I'm going to put this fun little shape on the red and I'm going to trace around that with a pencil. So I just do that. Hold right in the center of your template. And just go all the way around. It's okay if you draw on the other one. It's kind of messy. Go all the way around. And then once you do that, you'll want to cut this shape out. Remember, keeping my scissors in place. Twisting the paper and turning the paper around with my other hand. Okay, I've got that one cut out. Now one thing I wanted to let you guys know is make sure that you know how the side, the one that you drew on, that's always going to be the side that you glue on so that when you turn it over and glue it, you won't see any of those lines that you um, drew when you were um, copying that template. So I really suggest doing this and cutting out all of your pieces first, and then you can place them on your background and see what sort of collage you want to make with all of them. And the very last step will be to glue all your shapes on when you've gotten this product that you like. Okay, I've gotten to the point when I've gotten all my shapes that I wanna use cut out, and now I need to glue them all on. So I'm going to glue them on in this pattern that I've put um, for my collage. And after I glue them, I am going to take my crayons and I'm going to add a few details. I might add some different colors or different shapes throughout my collage. And then my last step is going to be to maybe trace those colored shapes, if you want, that's totally up to you, just to make them pop a little bit and then to add your name right at the bottom. So those are the next steps and I'll do it super speed, speed up the video so that you can kind of see. And I look so forward to seeing all of yours. Okay, sweet kids, we are all finished. Now, remember, your picture doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be something that is a reflection of you, something that you like the look of and that you've decided on. So I don't want it to look just like mine. I want it to be your own collage. Have a fantastic week. Bye.